Hey everyone, welcome to my CDC presentation. My name is Yun Han. I'm from Nonlinear Controls and Robotics Lab of the University of Florida. And the title of my talk is Really Explore Approach for Multi-Agent Exploration of an Unknown Environment with Intermittent Communication. First of all, I would like to talk about the motivation of the problem. For example, if you have one or multiple underwater MN vehicles, then they need to acquire GPS information. The agents will have to come up to the water surface to acquire GPS. And this is time consuming and also at the same time, you expose yourself to the adversaries. Then what if you can stay submerged in the water indefinitely without surfacing, but can also acquire GPS or state information from another agent? This other agent, what we call a relay agent, acts like a ferry, which will provide state estimate information to the exploring agents. In this case, the UUV can stay submerged at all times and we call this method a Relay Explorer approach. In this paper, the contributions include a Relay Explorer control method is developed to allow a Relay agent to provide state estimates to the exploring agents, and the exploring agents don't have access to the true state information at all time. Also, we developed a distributed formation and leader tracking controller, which enables the exploring follower agents to maintain a formation with respect to the explorer leader in this unknown environment using a graph theory. Specifically, I will explain the Relay Explorer approach in our control objective. The objective is to enable the network of explorer agents to explore an unknown environment where navigational feedback is unavailable. The explorer agents follow the explorer leader, which is following a desired trajectory through the unknown environment. The explorer leader is intermittently receiving state estimate information from the Relay agent and the relay agent is intermittently receiving the true state information from regions where feedback is available, and then communicating with the explorer leader to provide state estimate when they are sufficiently close. Once the explorer leader receives state estimate from the relay agent and the other follower agent's state estimates are updated by the explorer leader using a distributed controller where graph is connected at all times. As you can see in this animation, this relay agent is switching in uh, between the feedback available and feedback unavailable region and providing state estimate to the explorer leader. And the uh, explorer followers maintain a fixed formation in this unknown environment. For the dynamics we used to model our system, we consider a model with one relay agent and n plus one explorer agents. And for the relay agent, we use this control alpha nonlinear dynamic system, where fr denotes the drift dynamics, vr denotes the control input, dr denotes the disturbance, similar for our explorer agents, where zero here denotes our explorer leader, and fe denotes the drift dynamics, and xi denotes the true state, and I, uh, vi denotes the control input, and di denotes the disturbance acting on the system. To achieve the control objective, we will have to make some assumptions. The undirected graph G is connected for all time, and this assumption will allow the explorer followers to communicate with each other at all time. The exogenous disturbances that we talked about earlier on the relay and the explorer agents are bounded by some known positive constants. The drift dynamics of the relay agent and the explorer agent are known locally Lipschitz and bounded because uh, we have to use this to facilitate our uh, subsequent stability analysis. The radiate agent and explore leader can communicate when their relative distance is uh, sufficiently close so that the relay, a, uh, so that the relay agent can communicate with the explore leader to provide state estimates. And there are multiple known and stationary feedback regions so that the relay agent can switch in and out to compensate for its state estimates. Then the relay agent is initializing the feedback region, and the explorer agents may be initialized outside of all the feedback regions, so that this relay explorer approach can allow those explorer agents stay in this unknown environment at all time. And the control and estimated position of the explorer leader are bounded. The desired states and their time derivatives are bounded. To compensate for this feedback intermittency of the problem, we define VR and VE as the constant switching signals for relay agent and explorer agent, respectively. 
where TLA denotes the out time instant when feedback is available, and TLU denotes the out time instant when feedback is unavailable, where delta TLA and delta TLU denotes the corresponding dwell time conditions. Same thing for phi E. To quantify our control objective, we define three error systems for our radiator agent, ER, ER hat, and ER tilde, which denotes the trajectory tracking error, the estimated trajectory tracking error, and state estimation error, where XR denotes our true state, XRD denotes our desired state, and XR hat denotes our estimated state. Note that ER is equal to ER hat plus ER tilde, and we will use this relationship in our stability analysis. And when feedback is unavailable, we are using this observer to approximate XR dot. For the explore leader, we also define three error systems, E0, E0 hat, and E0 tilde, where X0, X0 D, and X0 hat denotes the true state, the desired state, and the state estimate of our explore leader. And note that E0 is equal to E0 hat plus E0 tilde. And this relationship will be used in the stability analysis section. And when feedback is unavailable, we have to use observer to approximate xi dot. And similar for the uh, explore leader, we will have to use uh, x0 hat dot to approximate x0 dot. Then to compensate for the leader tracking and formation control objective, we have to define this auxiliary estimate ei hat to approximate the uh, error of agent i. And this di uh, variable denotes the desired relative position between the explore leader and agent i. Note that agent i will know this pi um, in unknown environment, and uh, this variable will be used in the subsequent defined auxiliary controller design. Now we're ready to design our controller. When feedback is available for our relay agent, we're using the true state information because the relay agent will have access to feedback. And when feedback is unavailable, we will use state estimate instead of true state. And the substituting in the corresponding control inputs into the open loop error system, we will obtain these closed loop error systems. Similar for the explorer agents, we design our control inputs using the state estimates instead of true states. Because even though the radio agent is communicating with the explore leader, the explore leader won't have access to the state uh, to the true state information. Therefore, the closed loop error system can be obtained as this. To compensate for the uh, formation control and leader tracking objective, we design our um, distributed controller uh, for the explorer follower i as this, where x i hat and x j hat are the estimated states. And the uh, pi and pj denotes the desired uh, relative uh, position vector of uh, follower i and uh, its neighbor j with respect to the explore data. Then the closed loop error system can be obtained as this. We define capital E hat as the stack form of the estimate error of agent i. Then we take the time derivative of capital E hat and obtain E hat dot and all these signals can be upper bounded. The details can be found in the paper. For the state estimation errors, we will use ER tilde dot and E0 tilde dot to represent the time derivative of the state estimation errors for the radio agent and explorer leader respectively. And the ER tilde dot and E0 tilde dot will be used in the subsequent stability analysis to find the corresponding dual time conditions. And here comes to our mean results. We will have six theorems. Theorem one proves the stability of the trajectory tracking error of relay agent when feedback is available. Theorem two proves the stability of the estimated trajectory tracking error of relay agent when feedback is unavailable. Theorem three proves the stability of the state estimation error of relay agent when feedback is unavailable by satisfying this dual time condition. Combining theorems 2 and 3, we can show that the stability of ER when feedback is unavailable by using the relationship of ER is equal to ER hat plus ER tilde. Theorem 4 proves the stability of the estimated trajectory checking error of our explore leader when feedback is available and when feedback is unavailable. 
Theorem 5 proves the stability of the state estimation error of x4 leader when feedback is unavailable by satisfying the maximum dwell time condition. And Theorem 6 proves the x4 agents achieve formation control and leader tracking with the distributed controller, and this will allow the x4 followers to uh, maintain a fixed formation in this unknown environment. To prove the theorems that we mentioned in the previous slide, we define some positive constants. Based on theorem 2, we define E hat capital MR and E capital MR. These two constants are used in theorem 3 to determine the maximum dwell time of the rate agent. And based on theorem 3, we define E tilde capital MR. And this value dictates how large the, uh, the state estimation error of the rate agent can grow before it has to go back to one of the feedback available regions to compensate for its state estimate. And based on theorem 4, we define E hat capital ME. This value dictates how large the estimated trajectory tracking error of the explorer leader can grow before the explorer leader has to communicate with the relay agent. And based on theorem 5, we have to define E tilde lowercase me and E tilde capital ME and we'll have to select E tilde capital ME to be greater than E tilde capital MR. And this inequality will allow the rate agent provide a better state estimate to the explore leader. And at last, we'll have to select E tilde capital MR and the E tilde capital ME to be smaller or equal to the communication radius of the rate agent. To summarize my talk, this paper's contributions include a network system with one relay agent and multiple explorer agents to allow the explorers to navigate the unknown environment indefinitely. The relay agent only needs to communicate with one explorer leader to provide state estimate, and the distributed formation and leader tracking controller is developed using state estimates to maintain the multi-agent system formation in this unknown environment. Future research includes considering the drift dynamics for the relay and explorer agents are unknown and use a multiple time scale deep neural network learning architecture to approximate this unknown drift dynamics. In addition, we'll focus on using a time varying graph topology with optimal path planning for the relay agent so that the relay agent can switch between feedback available and unavailable regions and also communicate with the explorer leader more efficiently. And that wraps up my presentation. Thank you for listening. This below are my contact information and the nonlinear controls and robotics website. Please feel free to reach out to me for any further questions and also check out our research. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the CDC conference.